See, I don't know how I feel with the whole Opals and Day 1 from Trophy case. I, I don't mind it that much because it says it in the dev blog. We already know it. But, like, the fact that all 30 cards are going to be in the game on Day 1 is, is what's really, really worrying about it. Is that, like, if we start seeing all these cards in the database... That means that every single Opal for every division is going to be a day one Opal, which means you're going to have like eight Hoth badges. Which means that by the time you're able to get all of them, you're going to get Amethyst better than the Opals, some of the Opals. And that like the Dark Matters are probably going to be available in Season 3. And then you're going to be seeing like absolute scrub Dark Or maybe Dark Matters are going to be available in Season 4. And if they're in the database day one, they're going to be scrub Dark Matters, if you get me. I don't even think that the Opals... I think either one of two things is going to happen with these Opals. It's either the Opals are going to come out way too overpowered, which is a possibility. The Opals could... Available Season 1 and these Pink Diamonds could be way too overpowered. Or they could all be based on Day 1 um, Opals and Day 1 Pink Diamonds. And I think they could be in a bad way. Like, right, Jacob, the one big problem... The one thing I'm worried about... I don't even care about the Gem Tears. My whole thing is that, like, if we look at, say... Um, Last year, if we look at the token rewards, we look at Frasier. So, like, what Frasier, who came out on day one, had two Hall of Fame badges? What if they give every one of these, because these are all going to be in the game day one, what if they give every one of these pink diamonds two Hall of Fame badges? And then by the time you're able to get, like, the last of these pink diamonds, we're going to be seeing, I don't know, I'm trying to think of season four, LeBron James. He was a season four pink diamond. And by the time you, you see the last of these cards, we suddenly have 10 Hall of Fame badge uh, pink diamonds. But yet, there's like... These are you know, two Hall of Fame badges and they expect you to grind for a 10 Hall of Fame badge. For a two Hall of Fame badge card, you can get a 10 Hall of Fame badge card for 15k. And that's what, that's what I'm kind of worried about. That's like, I think, the issue with Opals and Day 1 could be. Yeah, like, if they're able to create an update badge on the fly, go for it. But if these are all day one cards, and we start seeing these guys as, like, two Hall of Fame badge cards in February, they're going to be worthless. Unless these grinds take literally an hour. Going for a two half badge card in February is worthless. Because, again, if we look at cards that came out in February, because that Amethyst better than this Wall Frazier. Like, you look... Like, you, you can't argue that even of these cards. But JT Thor was better than Frasier in other different positions. Bledsoe is better than Wolf Frasier. Like, this Eric Bledsoe is better than Wolf Frasier, like. So, that's kind of what the one big thing I'm worried about when it comes to that.